Hi guys, welcome to Chuck's Corner. We have an awesome video today. This video is fire, and I mean it, okay? <laughs> it's about fire magic. Let me get a quick drink of coffee. Mmm, best coffee in the world. Now, us magicians, we use a lot of fire magic. Today, it's kind of taboo, so you have to sneak a little bit in here and there. But years ago, when I started, almost 40 years ago, oh man, I'd light things on stage. It was really cool. But just to give you a quick example here, here we have a candle. Whoa, look at this. We have a scarf that appears from the flame. And what's cool about this is you can use it for your sleight of hand shows or sequences in the act. You tie a knot, you blow on it, and it vanishes. So you could use this, you could make it segue into something else is, is pretty much what I'm saying. All right, you could actually reach up. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look, we have fire from nowhere. You gotta watch you don't burn your hands. But look, when you reach inside of your top hat, you could come out. Oh my goodness, look at this. Whoa, we have fire again. And it changes to a scarf again. So you could do a lot of things with fire magic and it could lead into the next trick, like I said. You could go into your card manipulations and so forth. Some really cool stuff. But here we have a classic. It's called a dove pan. And I'll show you what I mean. Here we have a gigantic match. Hey, I think the roof must have stopped leaking, all right? Look at this. We'll set this on fire here. All right, you probably can't see it too well, but it is on fire. We're gonna cover it up. Oh my goodness, look at this. Perfect, frosty, isn't that cool? All right, we'll put this down here with everything else. Now we can get into things that are a little bit bigger actually. Here we have a, a very large dove pan and we're gonna get a match and we're gonna light this. Look at that, wow. And we're gonna cover it up. And for you, grand finale, look at this. Whoa, we have flowers. We have a beautiful scarf as well. This one, I believe, happens to be a butterfly. So that's just some of the things you can do with fire. You can really make some amazing stuff happen. But thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, guys.